Welcome to our instructional video on how to add a custom animated countdown timer to your PowerPoint project or live presentation without the need to download third-party plugins or fiddle with complex animation setups. Follow along as I show you the process we use from start to finish. Let's dive right in. When dealing with motion graphics for online presentations, PowerPoint offers a variety of tools behind a very simple UI. Microsoft Office is commonplace in most business environments and with PowerPoint files being self-contained, it makes it easy to transfer your presentation to different locations without the need to worry about linked files or project file structure. Along with its stability, it works on a large variety of both desktop and mobile operating systems. Because of this, we use PowerPoint here at Giraffe and Elf to design and create our graphics and animations for live streams, stage performances, digital signage, and more. This software allows us to easily export to a multitude of different file formats, which streamlines our process when transferring designs from various desktop, mobile, rack, and other unique display systems. Whether you are creating a holding slide for live streaming, wanting classroom tasks to be completed in a specific time, or including an intermission to your presentation, one thing PowerPoint doesn't have a tool for is a countdown timer. PowerPoint offers ways to construct an arbitrary timer. Animations for a filling bar or a shrinking circle are simple to create. However, these cannot display specific numbers without complicating the amount of required animations, layers, and elements needed. Within PowerPoint, creating an animated countdown from 10 isn't too difficult, but 30, 60, or more adds an excessive amount of complexity. For a previous stream event, we needed a timer displayed on an introductory holding slide, giving a 20 minute leeway before the live event started. Within PowerPoint, this got complicated very fast. Utilizing plugins or third party solutions limited the versatility of what could be displayed, where it was positioned, the font used, and even the method to get it started. After exhausting our limited options, our eventual solution ended up being quite simple. Use an animated GIF. They have great support within PowerPoint, require no scripting or macro knowledge, and they are not limited to just being used within Microsoft Office software. So with a little work in Adobe Animate, a quick template was created with a multitude of styles soon exported for a set of timers that counted down from 30 minutes. As a starting maximum, 30 minutes is a good one, and cutting out frames is easy to do if the timer needs to be quicker. Let me now show you both how to cut down the time for your own use case and how to add the animated countdown timer to PowerPoint. To get started, head to giraffeandelf.com forward slash PowerPoint. Once loaded, locate the article featuring a variety of countdown styles and browse it. Choose the one that suits your needs and style. Our styles are available in both black and white. You can also click on each to preview the timer in motion if you want to see more characters. Once you have decided on a style you'd like for your project, right click or command click and select save image as, and then save it to a location on your local device. Now that you have it saved, you can add it to your presentation or cut down a timer to suit your specifications. Let's start by trimming down the countdown to a custom time. For the example today, 30 minutes is way too long and I'm only after a five minute countdown timer. You can use any time under 30 minutes that you specify. The method for cutting it down is the same. An online GIF frame cutter has given us the best success when trimming down the animation. We use online GIF tools as our go-to. Although successful when trimming files, the site isn't without some caveats. Firstly, each 30 minute animated countdown GIF file is large and may take some time to upload. Secondly, again, each file is large and may take some time to download. The site may prompt that it is unresponsive and ask if you would like to wait. We will take you through it in a moment, but be sure to select wait and be patient. Now with the disclaimer out of the way, open up a web browser and head to onlinegiftools.com forward slash cut hyphen gif. There's also a link in the description and a full written guide on giraffeandelf.com. With the site loaded, you will be presented with a select image box under the word gif with a variety of ways to upload your countdown timer gif file. Locate the file on your device and upload it to the site. The countdown gifs are large, especially for a typical gif file and the website may prompt that it is unresponsive. It will ask you if you would like to wait. Be sure to select wait and be patient. It may ask this multiple times depending on your internet speed connection. However, keep selecting wait and eventually it will upload. Once the file is uploaded and made available for editing, it is time to trim the frames to your custom time. This part requires a little math. 
Each frame of the countdown timer animation is one second. You'll need to cut down the time you desire in remaining seconds from 30 minutes. For this example, I want to output a five minute timer. As the frame count is in seconds, I'll need to multiply each minute by 60 for my required count. I'll start by multiplying five by 60 seconds, giving me the number of frames I need to keep, which is 300. Next, I'll subtract the 300 from that total animation frames. This will be 30 times 60 plus one, but is also shown under the input GIF total frames. Importantly, the plus one is an extra frame added to the animation to start at a whole number. Typically, a five minute timer would start at 459, and if you want an accurate timer, you can do just that. For our applications, this is more of a visual aid and it rounds out the look by starting at 500. Back on track, 1801 minus 300 leaves 1501. This is what we insert into the GIF cutter options box. Select cutter frame range and then input 1501 into the start frame and then input 1801 into the end frame box. The preview or cut GIF preview will show the five minute timer counting down from 500 all the way to 00. I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna select save as under the GIF cutter preview and then select download to save it to a location on my device. The site will prompt you to be patient and again, may also prompt a series of unresponsive warnings. Just click wait on these and eventually the save as dialog will appear. Save the file locally and we are ready to insert it into our presentation. Now that we have our desired countdown timer, we can add it into our presentation. I'm going to now show you how to add it into a PowerPoint presentation. Let's start by opening up PowerPoint. I'm going to select blank presentation. With the first slide open, I'm going to add my desired style elements for it. For this example, I'm going to make a holding slide for a live stream. I'll add in a stream name and notification. Next, I'll add in the countdown timer and size it to where I want it to be. There are some options we can use in a PowerPoint to further change the countdown. This is one of the reasons for offering a white and black version. With the GIF selected, we have the option of selecting picture format from the top ribbon. While all options are available, most of them will prevent the GIF from animating. Under color, you can add a shade to the GIF which gives you a lot more color options than just black and white for styling. Other options that work under the picture effects menu are glow and reflection. However, these depend on your operating system and version of PowerPoint. Your best way forward is to test the animation with each change, add your desired effect, run the presentation to test it, and if it plays, you're in luck. If not, you'll need to undo the last change or select reset picture. For colors, the black base will give you a saturated option and the white base will give you more pastel options. Combined, it covers a great variety. Lastly, your timer will start as the slide comes into place. It will also pause during any transition or animation effect. To mitigate this, continuously test your slides and put a buffer slider in if you need more control over your timing. Depending on your software, the timer may also reset once it reaches zero zero. To avoid this, I suggest automatically setting an animation to remove the countdown so you're not having to precisely time your slideshow with clicks to progress to the next slide. Setting this animation duration to less than one second hides the pause of the countdown. Now that I have my timer and slides styled, I'm going to add in some holding slides and animations to show how they can be used practically. To start, I'll copy my slide, move it to the front of the timer and remove the timer animation from it. Now I'll change the text slightly for the viewers. Now I can add in the rest of the animations I want successively to transition the slide out and into the presentation. Next, I'll go back to the timer slide and set a fade animation to happen after five minutes, the duration of our timer. With all that done, it is now time to test it all out. We launch our presentation and hold the slide while the stream is set up and made live. Time has passed and we are now five minutes away from the show starting. Everyone is in position, so we can take the countdown. Let me speed this up and cut down on our wait time. 
Okay, 12 seconds to go. This should automatically animate and transition to the presentation. Done. The animation was automatic and the show can go on. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the tutorial and allowing me to take you through all the steps of adding a custom animated countdown timer to your presentation. Follow the links below and in the description to find and use everything that we've shown you today. If you have any further questions, ask away in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them. I hope we've helped you with your future presentations as much as it has helped us here at Giraffe and Elf.